everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. How are you doing with your no sugar and extra water and moving for at least 30 minutes a day? I hope you're doing well. Now, I'm going to be doing Marsha Mush and Stuff is actually doing this with me. She's doing no sugar, and so is Granny T. She doesn't have any sugar in her coffee, but I think she's taken hers out a long time ago. It's... It's really hard to take the sugar out. I had I had read some of the comments on, um, I think it was on Marsha's, and they were saying something about that it's sugar is something that they couldn't take out, never could do it. Well, about three years ago, I took the sugar out of my coffee. I had to go completely cold turkey. That's the best way to go, because if you try to do a little bit at a time, a little less, a little less, a little less, it's really hard. I find that it's not tasting quite right, and I really want to add that other spoonful that I, because I used to put two teaspoons into my coffee. And so I took it completely out, and I did that for probably a good year. Then I happened to come upon the protein shake, and that's got just a tiny bit of sugar in it. But the scoop that's in it is huge, so I have this little tiny scoop that would take, I think it's four scoops of that scoop, or three scoops maybe it's three scoops of that to fill that one scoop and it was said it was supposed to use two of those scoops it's like whoa that would be way too much so I was using that itty bitty tiny scoop and I thought well maybe I better take that sugar out too because it's really not the good sugar that they have in those protein shakes it's not the stevia it's some other kind and it's bad for you so I decided maybe I'll take that out so I took that out cold turkey that's the only way to do it is to just put your mind to it that you're going to just take it out. And so that's what I did. I took it out. Mm -hmm. You don't drink any coffee. I mean, well, any I, sugar. I drink coffee. With, <laughs> you drink coffee with cream. sometimes with cream, but most of the time black. When I bring yeah. you your coffee, it's black. I drink it both ways. Yeah. Now, Jim, he used to put sugar and cream in his coffee years ago, but, you know, he's very shy. Very shy, and he was at a friend's house, and it was funny because he wanted he needed sugar and well, cream and cream. Yeah, I but, needed the cream. They had just they always used just sugar. Oh well, you didn't ask for it, but then how did you take the sugar out? I kept getting heartburn all the oh, time. Oh, like, like my I, father. And I kind of decided, well, maybe it's the sugar that's causing yeah. heartburn, so I. Took, took that the sugar out. out. See, I don't get heartburn. Haven't the only had time the I had heartburn since. Yeah, the only time I had heartburn was when I was pregnant with Laura. That was my third child, and that was the child that I actually gained at the twenty pounds that the doctor wanted you to gain. They were so excited that I gained twenty pounds, because with my other two children, I only gained like ten and twelve or fourteen and twelve, something like that. I wasn't very. It wasn't very much. And I, I never would have made, and with my fourth one, I never made the 20 pounds either. I only made it with the one. And that was the only one that I wasn't sick when I was pregnant. Back on the water, I got and off sugar. track. And sugar. And coffee. And coffee. Yeah, we'll go back to that. <laughs> oh, but when I was pregnant, I didn't drink any coffee. Mm. I couldn't drink the coffee. The coffee used to nauseate you. So I now I just drink the coffee with a little bit of half and half. I could put cream in it, but the cream has that carrageen in it, and we can't find it without anymore. There's only one store that used to carry it, and when all this crazies came along, it seemed like the, the cream with the carrageen is the only one that you can find, and the other one is kind of like not there anymore. So I went to half and half. That doesn't have carrageen in it. And carrageen, you wonder what carrageen does? It causes cancer, and I'd really rather not use it if I can avoid that. It's bad enough I had the bad sugars in there and I didn't need the carrageen along with it. So now I've just got the half and half black coffee with the, with the half and half and no sugar and still drinking extra water and still moving the 30 minutes. That's the whole goal. So Marsha, you and I, at least I know are doing it and I think Granny T is, is Tammy. She's trying to do it too. So we'll talk to you all at another time. Take care and keep moving, keep drinking, and keep that sugar away. Bye-bye.